everyone, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astrologist, and welcome to Star Codes. So today we are going to check into the biggest planetary event of 2021. It happens three times, and that is Uranus Square Saturn. Now the first time they met was on February 17th, and the second of three will be on June 14th and the third in December. So it really is the defining event of 2021. And the key message that these two planets help us to adapt to and discover is the freedom to experience our true nature. So Saturn is the ruler of anything that is structural, patient, building, it's earthy, it's slow moving, it's it's also about limitation, stamina, and Saturn also governs the past. Uranus governs the future and the higher mind and inspiration and freedom and soul group connections and exploration. So Saturn is practical and slow in the past. Uranus is inquisitive and quick and the future, very much the innovator. So we have reality and intuitive exploration coming head to head in the square, which is a, an aspect of really understanding that any waves that come your way that are propelling you to get up and act, this is what a square is about is about you needing to be proactive. And in this case, the first important aspect to understand is to accept life as it is. Because non-acceptance of life closes down your heart. And your heart is the doorway to peace and to love. And there's no other way to acceptance of life except through that door and when you accept then peace comes and love can flow so saturn square uranus challenges you to accept inspiration as your inner guidance system and then put it into practice so what makes this challenging is that the mind is designed to reject and resist and desire something other than what life is showing up as right the mind does not accept things the way the way things are and i mean the egoic mind so for example if it's cold outside the mind would rather it be warmer when it rains the mind would rather have the sun etc the mind believes that life should go according to its version, its ideas, its plans. And when things don't go to plan, then there is a sense of poor me or complaining or anger. So listening to the mind ensures that the heart will stay closed and inspiration can't flow. And inspiration is very much part of Uranus, right? So if you take the mind's perspective as your own, then you will be at odds with life. You will have a hard time finding happiness and experiencing a sense of peace and having love in your life. And this resistance is actually natural. It's built into the human experience. So it's, it's to understand that, number one, and to accept that. That's the first acceptance. And also then to see that there is another way. You don't have to let your mind determine your inner experience. You don't have to be upset by what the mind gets upset about. And there are many opportunities throughout 2021 to practice this. Because the mind's rejection of the way life is does not have to be your experience, right? It doesn't have to be what defines how you experience life. There is another possibility. And the first thing to know is, are you willing to see that you are not this very limited mind? Fortunately, there is a lot of wisdom that is also represented by Saturn and Uranus, who, by the way, 
are very connected to Aquarius, Saturn having been the original ruler of Aquarius, and Uranus, once Uranus was discovered, was assigned the modern ruler of Aquarius, and Aquarius is a brilliant sign. Aquarius really is about genius. So you are wise, you have inner genius, and these two planets coming together in this very tense aspect is showing you that although you have this limited mind that refuses to see the truth, something else in you knows the truth. And that something else is eternal. So unlike a child that's throwing a temper tantrum, you actually know that you can't have life always as you want it, right? That life is what it is and it will be what it will be. And that child that's throwing the, the tantrum, you're practical. And that child that's forming the tantrum, your mind thinks that it can change, that it can control life. So the mind will be unhappy as long as it believes that life can be changed in ways that it cannot be changed, right? And that's like a child that has to learn how to grow up, right? And doesn't want to. So it continues to believe those beliefs that are, are completely false in spite of evidence to the contrary and doesn't learn and doesn't want to grow. But if you're already grown up, you will see the truth. And this is a grown up aspect. This Saturn square Uranus is about growth. Saturn is the great teacher. And Uranus grabs just incredible information through inspiration. And so you want to trust that you have these qualities of wisdom within you to determine your response towards life. Because your internal experience is governed either by you or by your mind. And you have control over whatever subjective experience you're having right? So you want to take those reins back. You want to align with the perspective of truth about life and not allow the mind to tell you how to think, what to feel. You want to align and find that within you, which loves and is at peace with life as it is. And that is really the key. So you want to allow Saturn and Aquarius, Uranus's home sign to help you with discipline. Saturn being in Uranus's home sign during the square is very important because it helps you take back the power which you've given to the mind to determine your experience of life. And accepting the realities of life includes accepting your own pain and limitations as a human being, which is also governed by Saturn, which rules order and time and limitation. So in a human body, there are pains and limitations that we naturally have. And in the same way, you have tendencies that may also cause limitations or suffering, such as judging, wanting to be superior, comparing yourself to others. We are all designed in this way. And that again is something we need to accept. But fortunately, we're also given the capability of overcoming that suffering and the limitation of the human condition. And that makes us powerful creators. So with just your thoughts, you create feelings and these feelings propel you to behave in a certain way, sometimes destructive, which then reap consequences and reap more feelings. And those feelings are acted upon. And so it goes, right? The hamster wheel. This is the human experience. But when you see how this works, it becomes possible to accept the way things are within the human experience and move beyond that human experience, those human tendencies. And if you don't see how this works, you are at the mercy of that humanness by you're basically accepting the endless hamster wheel, karmic, I mean, negative karma, suffering caused by your thoughts and the feelings. And so this is, this is just one of two directions you choose for yourself. So the acceptance of life and the acceptance of the human condition requires awareness 
of the truth about life and the truth about the human condition because it is very difficult, if not impossible, to accept what you're unaware of. If you're unaware of the truth, you can't accept it. In other words, you will continue to adhere to the perspective that you're given, conditioning, the mind's perspective, which is false. And Saturn is connected to conditioning. Saturn's the ruler of Capricorn. Capricorn does represent that past conditioning. So Uranus is breaking that up with the square all year long to set us free. And at the same time, Saturn is also showing us that the human experience has limitations, right? So becoming aware of the truth about life and the human condition is really key to being at peace and becoming a loving being, being what we naturally are. And once you're aware of this dilemma of being human, right? Why being human is, is challenging. You're no longer at the mercy of the human condition. And it's possible to experience yourself very, very differently. And this is the loving being that you've always wanted to be. That is not the mind, right? And then you can love, you can accept the human self. You can love and accept those who are still caught in the human condition, precisely because you understand their dilemma. You've been through it, you got it, right? And you can extend that compassion. So the challenge in escaping that lack that we can experience as a human is accepting who we are when we feel this way about ourselves. At some point, you realize that acceptance is the key to unlocking that prison, the shackles of the human condition. And perhaps you get this from a book or you get this from something, a conversation you have with somebody who just says something that comes from that place of incredible love and wisdom, right? But the keys to unlocking that door is to accept life as it is and accept yourself as you are and accept others as they are. And the way this is done is to look closely at those moments where you are in acceptance and what is it you do? What is it you say? What is it you not do? Do you realize that acceptance comes more from when you're in a not doing place? So you're basically not arguing or not wishing life were different. When you give up the fight, in other words. So when you surrender to the way things are, including res surrendering to your resistance to the way things are, right? Then you let that resistance, that anger, that rejection, your frustration, you just let it be there. And you don't judge it. You don't react to it. And by doing, by, by being in that state of surrender and acceptance, you then are ready to do something. You recognize that your resistance, your anger, your rejection, your frustration do not belong to you. They belong to the human condition. They belong to your experience being here as a human, as part of humanity. And you want to be with those feelings. You want to be with them with compassion for whatever challenges they cause to you and to all of humanity. And you want to recognize your feelings for what they are, which is they are a byproduct of the human condition. And in that moment that you do that, that you accept that, you are set free and you're no longer at the mercy of them. So Uranus is loosening the hold of our conditioning on us while Saturn gives us the patience and the courage to accept life as it is. And this freedom is the experience of your true nature. You've always actually been free, which is Uranus's whole point is to set us free, You've always been able to move in and out of the human experience to the divine experience, but 
what you don't realize is that your soul is not human and you're just experiencing being human in this lifetime but your eternal soul is not human so you have always been both which is being aware that you're human and a consciousness that is experiencing being human and but when you become aware of what you truly are then being human becomes a lot easier because it really is just an experience you're having you know it's no longer a problem then because you've accepted your humanity and that acceptance then enables you to be free of the suffering that's caused by being human you can be free to be who you truly are. And this is why acceptance is so, so important. It is really the key to freeing yourself from the human condition. And it is representative of Saturn square Uranus. So everything has been aligned to bring us to this moment of awakening this year. And remembering that Uranus is the planetary ruler of Aquarius, Saturn being the first ruler of Aquarius. So this is a moment when Aquarius is really being born this year. And so this, meaning the Aquarian age. So this square is a moment of recognition that we are crossing a major threshold, giving birth to a new enlightened way of being. And it can be a fine line to walk, actually, because it really does take practice. But after accepting the human condition rather than returning to your humanness and letting your feelings take over and play themselves out in the usual ways the next step is to give your attention to the life that you are given in this moment this moment only not the life that the mind dreams up but the life as it is showing up right here and now and to help you with that process it's really important to know your soul code which you can discover in a free masterclass at starcodeclass.com. This is where you discover what ignites you at soul level, the true you, the eternal you, that is just so thrilled to be here and have this experience on planet Earth at this time. So again, this is the second of three meetings of Uranus and Saturn in a square, and it's the middle of the year, June 14th and it happens at 13 degrees by the way and 13 degrees is very aligned with Saturn in that it represents the divine feminine that the cycles the four seasons 13 reduced to four Saturn is about time and structure and then it also is representative of the experience we have with Uranus and Taurus Taurus being a sign ruled by Venus and 13 is connected to the Venus star. So we have this, again, merging of the sacred masculine and divine feminine in the actual code of the second of three meetings, Saturn and Uranus. And it's very, very exciting because really balance is key. Acceptance is key. Not being pulled in directions is key. Not being uh, judgmental of others having tremendous compassion and focusing on your moment right now, every moment in time. That is the total acceptance of who you are at soul level. So remember the free class at starcodeclass.com and have a beautiful, beautiful, amazing mid-June moment here. And I look forward to seeing you in next week's Star Codes podcast. Bye-bye for now.